Greetings to all the saints of God and to those who keep his commandments and wait on the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who will come in the clouds and every eye shall see him. Woe to the remnant church. Woe to the last day people who are supposed to carry the message. Woe to the people who keep the true Sabbath and yet do not walk in the light that has been laid upon the path. The people that God have chosen more than 150 years ago are sleeping. The church has fallen asleep. Just as the parable of the ten virgins, five were wise and five were foolish. When the bridegroom came, they were all sleeping and they were jolted awake. But only five of the, of the virgins had enough oil in their lamps to make it through the trip. The other ones did not and they were not allowed into the wedding. The camp meetings that have been taking place over the past few years they're scarcely about Jesus Christ and his coming at all. But it's turning into a festival, a festival of fun, a festival of games. Nothing on preparing yourself for the coming of Jesus Christ. It's like an allurement or a false bait that you put on a line to catch a fish. Artificial bait is what's now being given out by the remnant church. We must stand up and start walking again. We must wake up out of the deep sleep. We will be held accountable for all that has been given to us to give to others. That's right, I say we will be held accountable to the remnant church as your fellow brother we must wake up we must do our duty that God has given us no more fun and games and trying to appease the children thinking that if we appease the children and offer all the things that the world offers to the children that that would bring the people into the church that the children would be saved and much more interested if everything looks just like the world. But was Saddam and Gomorrah destroyed because of their wickedness? Was not Lot and his family called out of the city and all of its worldliness so that that city could be destroyed? When Noah was on the ark, was not God's people called into the ark and out of the world because of its sinfulness and its wickedness and if they decided to stay outside of the ark were they to be saved even if they listened to Noah preach 120 years if they did not get into the ark would they be saved my people it is time for us to wake up and do the duties that have been given to us from the very beginning. For the time is running out. And in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, will be set against the remnant church if we don't stand up and repent and turn and do that which is righteous. Please like and subscribe to our channel and share this with others. For there's a great work to do. Do not get caught sleeping, but wake up. We must watch and pray. Watch and pray, for the coming of the Lord is near. Get ready. Be ready. Stay ready.